is Financial Wellness Month. We want to make sure you're kicking this year off with your finances in order. OK, joining me for today's culture segment is financial expert Dennis Kale. He is the CEO and co-founder of Zertu. It's an app with a mission to drive financial inclusion. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, Tashara. Good to see you again. Absolutely. Long time no see. I'm just I know, kidding. Right? I saw him about two hours ago. Hey, Dennis, January is a great time to re-examine our financial wellness, and I'm sure many are doing just that as they prepare to file taxes, etc. What is the number one piece of advice you would give to someone looking to improve their financial wellness at the top of the year? Number one piece of advice I would give is to make sure that uh, you have a financial safety net. Uh, make sure you have that emergency fund. Now, I know that's not always uh, easy to do for a lot of people. Uh, sometimes their current job or income does not support that to be able to save to at least have three to six months worth of financial cushion. And so what I do try to encourage people to do is have an additional income stream or revenue stream. And uh, as I say to my friends, you really have to have a job and a hustle just to make it in today's world. Mm -hmm. And so that actually gives them that sort of flexibility to build that financial cushion uh, that so that if and when a life event happens, you get laid off, you get a divorce or something, you have a medical emergency, uh, it's not the end of the world. And it gives you a little time to build back. And so that's the number one piece of advice that I would give people. And if there's one thing we've learned about these last two years is life events will certainly happen. Tell us about your app Zertu and how that app is working to improve financial wellness for uh, users. Sure, with a mission to drive financial inclusion, one relationship at a time, Zertu is the world's first relationship-based lending application that formalizes and simplifies loans between friends and family, and we automate the repayment process. We also give those borrowers the option to pay their creditors direct using those borrow funds. So if you are a family member or a friend loaning someone money, you don't have to worry about where that money is going. Zertu takes care of that for you. Now, when it comes to borrowing, right, you're not encouraging people to just go out there and get money, but it's it's been said that Americans are already doing this. That's right. I mean, according to estimates from the Federal Reserve Bank, uh, Americans lend and borrow over $200 billion a year with each other. So that says to us that Zertru is not a platform trying to convince people they should be lending and borrowing money with each other because clearly they're already doing that. It's just that if and when you have a situation where you need to get from one paycheck to the next or one bill to the next without paying a 400% payday loan interest rate, Zertru allows you to borrow money from the people who know you best while taking the awkwardness out of that lending process as well. And quickly, uh, Dennis, there's so much that we can talk about. Remember early on, I told you we don't have that much time, but I'm going to set something up with you, I promise you, uh, after this. When it comes to borrowing, give us the top mistakes people need to avoid to keep their financial wellness intact. Yeah, don't overextend yourself. And, uh, and just to double click on that, uh, what we tell people and our users on Zertu is don't overextend your financial lifeline, meaning those people and friends that are willing to help you financially or provide you with a financial lifeline, don't keep going back to them for money every month unless it's truly an emergency. Because what we see on the platform today is that sometimes people can overuse or abuse that relationship. And when they actually really need it, it's not there. So we really encourage people to think about what's truly an emergency versus not. Relationship based lending. I'm sure we've all done it at some point. Uh, Dennis basically putting a phrase to it and it's going to become familiar to a lot more people. Uh, I'll post your information on our website, WFAA.com slash links where people can just find more information about Zertu. Dennis, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you to Sarah.